hello and welcome back to another thrift video i'm at the desert industries the di and you guys look what i just found this cutie little gingerbread on this trip i found so many things i am really excited for you guys to see the haul at the end of the video i wanted to show you guys these two little ducks i actually found these months ago at the di it surprised me to come across them again i just think they're so cute As I was looking at these melamine plates, I did not see that gingerbread mixing bowl right next to them. I totally missed that. I thought it was really cute now that I'm editing the video. These plates were so beautiful. I would have brought them home, but they only had three of the dinner plates, but I thought they were so nice. They would go so well with my Christmas decor. I found this beautiful platter for $2. I considered bringing it with me, but at the end, I ended up leaving it. I just thought it was really nice. I found this beautiful turkey plate. It was so nice in great condition. It didn't have a price on it. I considered bringing it home, but I already have several of them, so I left it behind. And I wanted to show you guys these beautiful platters. I think these are so nice. They also had the matching bowl to go with it. I found another one of these snowman containers. I had it in my cart for the whole time I was at the thrift store and I ended up leaving it just because it was $2 and I already had a cart full, you guys, on this trip. I'm really excited to show you what I found. I regret not buying this wooden cubby box. I thought it was really nice. I don't know why I left it. I couldn't figure out when I was at the store what would fit in it, but I really like it <laughs> now that I'm playing back the video. This sled I thought was beautiful. It was only $3, but the colors were so nice and I love the gold border on it. It was out in the yard area and it was really dark this day because it was raining and look how cute this is you guys for some little dolls this is so cute it was four dollars made out of heavy wood this was really nice i'm gonna start by showing you the glass pieces that i found for this thrift haul the first one is this one how beautiful is this bow you guys oh my gosh this is so nice and you guys, I actually found one of these the other day. It cost me $2 and I loved it. I actually used it. What did I make? Oh, I made some ceviche and I put it in this bowl. And I thought it was so beautiful. I just love this. And for $2, I thought it was a great price. And I was at the thrift store yesterday and I found this one. Oh my gosh. Isn't it so nice? 
but this one did cost me three dollars so this one was three dollars the other one was two dollars and i'm using the other one with my kitchenaid right now just as like decor instead of using that bowl and it just looks so nice i wish it was a little bit bigger though because um i feel like there's like extra space in the kitchenaid if the bowl was a little bit bigger it would just fit better but it's beautiful i love it so now i have two of these and i'm so excited about them i was actually telling my daughter the other day that i bought it at the thrift store and she liked it <laughs> i kind of want to give her the other one that i have or maybe even this one doesn't matter because they're both the same but i don't know i just really like them <laughs> but i know that she would like it too i just think it's really nice and hopefully in the future i can find the same one if i do i'm gonna pick them up i would love to have like all of my bowls be like this i just think this is so beautiful this is the next bowl you guys how beautiful is this one too <laughs> this one has flowers and you guys they don't have any chips nothing wrong with them they're beautiful if i had this if somebody gave me this i would be like whoa how much did he spend on that and it comes well it didn't come with it it was at the thrift store it was separate but they had the matching like platter which i'll show you guys that right now but this is beautiful it's so heavy i love that the flowers are like a darker glass like a frost i just think that's so nice this one was four dollars but i think it's worth it it's a really big bowl let me see if i don't drop this but i want to show you guys the difference of the bowls so it's just a lot wider than this one but they're both beautiful i just love them both i think they're so nice but i love the flowers on this one so much so for the platters i found two of them this is the first one i love the shape of this one it's not like a traditional round one it's kind of like a square one i just love this one so much this one was four dollars and you can see the same frosted flowers well these are actually a little bit different i believe the other ones are more like roses but this is just so nice i want to say maybe the same person donated this as well because it's like super heavy just like the other ones and the flowers are on here are just really nice i just love this so much so this was four dollars which i think was a great price for it because if you go to the store, this is going to be more than $4. And this is the matching one. This one is a traditional round one. But this one, you can see the flowers are the same as the bowl. <laughs> they're so heavy. Close up. So there's that one. And there's that one. They're identical. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. And if you put them together, just like this, you make your ceviche, you put your tostadas, your aguacate. Oh, just so many possibilities. It's just a beautiful, I don't know. I thought about giving this one to my daughter too. If she wants it, she can have it. I just think the set is so nice. I think it's beautiful. I think I'm just gonna let my daughter choose which one she wants if she wants this one i'll be sad but <laughs> it's okay i i will be happy if she likes it because i know she likes a lot of like not like me like more of vintage she likes a lot more of like more modern and more like marble pieces i couldn't remember the word but yeah she loves a lot of marble but if she loves any of these i will gladly give them to her because i love her so much and I love that she's like starting to like home decor. So anytime I can give her anything, I'm just like, take it. <laughs> I just love it. I love being able to give her stuff. So I just have one more of that cut glass. There are these, you guys. I don't know exactly what these are. I want to say they're for candles, but I tried putting candles in them and they just wouldn't fit. They're like loose in here they're not shot glasses because they're just so fancy for a shot glass and look at the edge on here i don't think it would be like for a shot glass but they're really nice i don't know what they're used for if you guys know leave me a comment i want to say they're probably for candles 
but I don't know what candles because the normal ones that I buy at Hobby Lobby don't fit in here. They're just really loose. But I have purchased these before. Every time I find them, I buy them. I found six of them, six or eight of them um, at one of the times I was at the DI. And I had gotten all oh of them. God. Guys, I go, I look around and put everything that I want. Like I'll hold on to it or if I have a cart. I'll put everything in the card and at the end before I pay, I'll go through everything and make sure that I really want um, the, <laughs> the stuff that I have in the cart or that I'm holding on to because I will just start putting everything in and then before you know it, it's like this big old balance that you have to pay. So I try to evaluate <laughs> my purchase before I pay. So I found these and I only got four of them on this visit. I probably should have got all of them I just think they're really nice. I think they're beautiful. So, and I wanna say I have maybe three or four other ones already of these, but I put them next to them. And I think the ones that I already have are slightly smaller. So that's really cute that I have these bigger ones and the smaller ones. I just think these are adorable. I love picking these up. And for a dollar, how can you go wrong with this cut glass or crystal? I don't know what this is. I don't know. None of it ever has like, any markings i don't know how to identify crystal but this is beautiful to me i love i'm starting to love it so much more oh i just love it with that you guys i bought this <laughs> little box if you guys only saw it when i bought it it was disgusting <laughs> like sticky i washed it down and i actually recorded that part but i'm not even going to show you guys because the whole counter was just nasty but i thought <laughs> this would look cute with my fall decor isn't this just so cute it's so nice right and then i was thinking when i found these that i can put them in here wouldn't that be nice i don't know if they fit actually yeah they do see let me just put one in here because if i drop it i'm gonna be sad like if i was to display all of the ones I have, like four on the top, four on the bottom. That would be so cute. I just love this little shelf. This little shelf was $2. And it does come with the little um, drawers that go in here. One of them was broken. I was trying to see if I wanted to fix it by putting um, like the piece of wood on it. Or if, I don't know if I just want to flip them over and kind of just tuck them in and put like a little knob on them. Because I'm really not going to open them. But I think they would look super cute if I was just to put like a little a cute knob, like these little knobs. I wonder if I can trade these out. No, this is kind of like a, I don't know, maybe glued on to, to it. But I just love the look of this. I think this is like really old and vintage. <laughs> and that's what I'm into right now. So I was really happy for $2. I got this and I just love these little details um these little i don't know like little spindles i don't know what they are but they're just really nice two bucks oh and it does have this so you can hang it on the back you guys another thing that i found i don't know if i showed you guys this on my last video or not so i'm gonna have to go back and watch it but if i did i'm not gonna include that clip but i found this this sled this was two dollars it took off the price already but it was two dollars isn't this so unique i love this i think this is so beautiful i don't know if i'm gonna keep it green i don't know because i want to switch things up this year with my christmas decor and i don't know if this is gonna go i want to focus more on green and gold and white and that gingerbread lace collection so I don't know, maybe I'll leave it, but I was thinking of painting it white and then leaving this, the gold, like this right here. Maybe painting this gold, I don't know. I think that would be nice. And like that, it would fit into my gingerbread collection. But I just love the design of this sled. Like it goes up so high. It's just really beautiful. I really like it a lot. It's so nice. Um, it doesn't say who made it. It just says made in China and it has like that number right there but i was so happy to find this so happy 
I feel like going to the thrift store right now, <laughs> but I need to stay home. I can't be spending every day. <laughs> and you guys, in the two videos ago, I showed you guys that I found this picture. And it doesn't say like who made it or anything. It doesn't have any markings on the bottom or on the handle. Like it doesn't say anything. Let me show you guys the bottom really quick. So see the bottom doesn't say anything. I don't see any markings on it at all. But I found this. I found this, um, I don't know what it, what this is, like a bowl. It says Arnell's on the back. Right there, you can see it. It says Arnell's. So I did some research. I have actually seen like these bowls with this at the thrift store like this. So I knew that this bowl came with the pitcher but unfortunately the picture wasn't there. Maybe I should go back today and maybe see if it's there. But I found this yesterday too. And when I saw the bowl, I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like that um, picture and boldish. So I got it, I put it in the cart and I went around the whole store and I didn't find the picture, but I was like, this bowl will look nice with the picture that i already have at home i found this picture at a different thrift store like several weeks ago i did some research and it's not the picture for it the picture for it has like little um like peach roses but i think it goes so well and it's huge like you can see the picture is huge i don't know if this is an arnell picture or not it doesn't have any markings so i don't know like what the arnell pictures would say or if they have any markings on them or if it just says arnell but um yeah when i googled it i'll try to insert an image for you guys so you guys can see which one is the set for this one but this one is beautiful and i think the colors go so well um so i think this was four dollars when i bought it at the thrift store several weeks ago and then the arnell bowl when I found it yesterday, this was also $4. So I was just really excited about that. Um, yeah, it's nice. I think it's beautiful. I also found this, you guys, for $3. I found two of them and I got both of them. But when I got home, I cracked the glass when I was washing one of them. This says it's for, uh, it says high octane contains alcohol. I just like it for decor. <laughs> I think it's nice. I like the just the whole thing. It says filler up on the top and then it has like the different numbers right here. I don't know if that's supposed to be in ounces or what, what those numbers mean, but I just thought it was cute. And it comes like with this little uh, pump thing. I don't know what, like nozzle. I just thought it was nice and it hangs like that. So I got two of these for $3 each. I just thought they were nice. I thought it would be cool like to have them out for like 4th of July or something like that. I don't know, I, I just really liked them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them besides that, um, but they're cool. I was thinking of, <laughs> of putting my, <laughs> my hot cocoa in it. <laughs> that would be too extra, right? Um, I was thinking of putting like a label on this side that said like hot cocoa. <laughs> and just like pouring it <laughs> i don't know but i don't think i'm gonna do that but i thought it would be cool if i would put my hot cocoa in it <laughs> this is my last item right here i just think this is so beautiful when i found it at the store it didn't have a price so i took it up to the front and they priced it for me and they said it was three dollars <laughs> i was thinking it would be like eight or ten dollars but she said it was $3, so I was like, yes, I'll take it for sure. I was thinking if it was like more than 8 that I wasn't going to take it. Um, I've been looking at one from, uh, what is it called, Ikea. They have like a different one, not like this. Kind of similar, but not really like the same size. But it's more, the other one from Ikea is more like a cubby instead of like drawers. 
and i want to say the one at ikea is like 25 or 30 dollars so when i found this one for three i was like of course i'm gonna take it <laughs> i was just happy to find it but i do want to paint it i think i'm gonna paint it white and one of the cool things about it you guys it's just so heavy is that the drawers don't come out like they're like locked in there you actually there is a way to take them out but i thought that was cool for such like a little box and then it has like the um the separator in here that you can take out as well so i thought that was so cool i took out all of the drawers just to make sure there wasn't anything in there and just to clean it but i thought it was so nice and for three dollars i was really excited i think i'm gonna keep these little knobs on them i don't think they're bad but i don't know i don't know if i find something different maybe i'll trade them out make it look more like an antique box with different pulls but three bucks you guys i was so excited about this little box i don't know where i'm gonna put it uh, i just have it in my room right now kind of on top of the dresser but i want to find a spot for it especially when i paint it i need to start painting you guys i have too many projects already that i just haven't started I just love it that's so gonna nice. be all for this thrift haul i was so excited to show you guys everything just like always i'm super excited to go thrifting you guys i'm gonna go to the vintage market days and i'm so excited oh i can't wait and i think i'm gonna stop by the di over there as well because <laughs> they have one i already made like quick google search to see where it's at because it's the where the vintage market days is at it's probably like an hour and a half from me so we're gonna drive out there and have a good time i already have like this big old plan of going to the vintage market going to the, <laughs> the di going to the antique stores just spending a whole day antiquing basically and thrifting so i'm really excited the vintage market days are located in logan logan utah so i'm really excited if to i go. purchase anything which i hope i do <laughs> i'll show you guys on in that video so come back and watch that one i'll see you guys in the next video bye besties